So our sage grouse is now ready. We have the thighs, the breast meat, one wing, a heart, the other wing right here, we're gonna mail into the biologist so they can do population studies. And we have a cape of feathers for fly tying. So we pulled the steaks off the grill and rested them. We're now ready to thin slice them. They look perfect. Also, look at this amazing stew, so much flavor. So we're gonna serve it up and enjoy it. In today's video, we're gonna cook a very special meal and that is sage grouse cacciatore. And also we're gonna grill sage grouse steaks on the barbecue. Now, if you're not familiar with the sage grouse, it's a native bird. It's a large grouse species. The sage grouse population has been declining over the years and that's because their habitat. They pretty much live in sagebrush desert country and they even eat the sagebrush. Sagebrush is a toxic plant to most species, but sage grouse can live on the leaves. They're adapted to break down those leaves and get nutrients out of it where other animals can't. Now it's very hard to hunt sage grouse. In my state, there's limited tags. You have to apply for a tag, and then when you draw it, you have to drive over to Eastern Oregon, and uh, you can only kill two per year. So for me to harvest a sage grouse, I'd have to drive around a thousand miles. But I was reading this book, it's by Hank Shaw, and it's called Pheasant Quail Cottontail. If you watch my channel, you know I love doing hunting and gathering, and I was flipping through this, and there's some recipes in there that I wanted to try. Mostly I heard of rumors are that sage grouse, because they eat sagebrush, don't taste very good. But after reading this book, they say they're delicious when prepared properly. So I wanna test that out and see if sage grouse actually are delicious. So I did draw a tag and I'm gonna to head to Eastern Oregon and see if we can harvest the sage grouse, one or two birds, that's my limit, no more than two. And then we're gonna cook it up and see if it's actually tasty. And uh, we're gonna go with recipes inspired in this book. Well, I'm out here in Beulah unit in Eastern Oregon. It's opening day of sage grouse season and I was finally able to find a group of sage grouse and harvest a male. I hiked over 10 miles. It's hot, sweaty, and pretty dirty out here, but I really enjoyed this hunt. It was quite an adventure. I've never been in this part of the state before, and I really like coming out here and reaching my goal of getting a sage grouse. So let's get the sage grouse ready. What's so unique about this bird is the breast meat is dark. It will treat it similar to a dove, and the thighs are light meat. That's opposite than a turkey. On a turkey, the breast meat is the white meat and the thighs are the dark, but sage grouse are just a different bird. Now, normally I would pluck a sage grouse. They're some of the easiest birds to pluck, but my son is so into fly tying, I wanna save these feathers. I'm gonna cape it out, so I'm gonna skin it. Also, I'm gonna save a wing because the biologists get information from that. When you get a sage grouse tag, they ask you to send in wings. I have an envelope right here. I'm gonna put this in there and mail it in. So next time you see the sage grouse, it's gonna look something like this. So our sage grouse is now ready. We have the thighs, the breast meat, one wing, a heart, the other wing right here, we're gonna mail into the biologist so they can do population studies. And we have a cape of feathers for fly tying. Now I also thought it was interesting to see what the grouse was eating. So inside the sage grouse, it's pretty much shredded vegetation that smells very strongly of sagebrush. That's the main component of the diet. And I'm gonna see how that affects the meat having such a strong diet of sage. Let's go to the kitchen and cook some meals. So the first recipe we're gonna try with our sage grouse is with the light meat. And again, on a sage grouse, that's the wings, the thighs, and the leg bone. And we're gonna do a recipe called sage grouse hunter style. It's in Hank Shaw's book, Pheasant Quail Cottontail on page 247. And basically it's a variation of a cacciatore or a stew. We have the meat from only one sage grouse. Normally you'd make this a lot larger if you harvested more, but we're just gonna do one. We also have other meat, including bacon and ham some fresh herbs. Some of these we collected out of the garden, like the parsley. We also have sage here, kind of go with the sagebrush theme. Also, we have thyme, some garlic, tomatoes we collected right from the garden. We have white wine, chicken broth, and some onions. So we're gonna start this party by warming up some bacon here. We're gonna brown our sage grouse in the bacon fat. So as the bacon is rendering, we're getting some good fat. The next step is to season our sage grouse with salt and pepper. Now I have my wife here to help me with the seasonings because she's an expert in the kitchen. Once the fat is rendered on the bacon, we'll pull it off and put it on a paper towel and then brown the meat in the fat. We're now ready to brown our sage grouse meat. Mm -hmm. 
Now that our sage grouse is brown, we're gonna pull it off and set it to the side. Next, we'll add the ham and our pearl onions. So we've let the onions and the ham cook for about five minutes, and now we're gonna add the garlic and half the sage. Garlic. And fresh sage. We're now gonna add one cup of white wine to deglaze the pan. And we'll reduce this to about half the liquid. Now we're gonna return the grouse back to the pot. We'll also add the bacon back in. We'll also add the thyme, the tomatoes from our garden, and the broth. We've brought it up to a simmer and we're gonna turn it down to low. Put a cover on it and let it go um, for about two hours. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye on it. So the hunter style sage grouse with the wings, thighs, and legs is about ready. We're gonna serve it over polenta. I'm also gonna cook up the breast meat. This is perfect breast meat. There's no BBs, no damage. I'm gonna flay these off and treat them like a steak. I'm gonna season them with my favorite seasoning. This is by the Wooded Beardsman, a great YouTube channel. I'm gonna throw it on a hot grill and cook them to pretty rare. Then we're gonna thin slice them and eat them next to the cacciatore and see if it has any sage grouse flavor. We'll just flay these off. So we have our two sage grouse breast meat steaks, very dark meat. We're gonna season these and barbecue them along with the heart. And I'm gonna make a stock out of the rest of the bones here. We'll freeze it and save it. And when I have enough, we'll make a stock. So let's season them and throw them on the grill. This rub contains salt, chili powder, black pepper, granulated onion, paprika, granulated garlic, cumin, and oregano. So our grill is nice and hot. We'll throw in our steaks. So as our steaks cook, we're gonna do the final stages of our stew. We're gonna add some fresh herbs, some sage and parsley. We also have polenta all ready. We're about ready to plate, just add the final ingredients. So we pulled the steaks off the grill and rested them. We're now ready to thin slice them. They look perfect. Also, look at this amazing stew, so much flavor. So we're gonna serve it up and enjoy it. Perfectly medium rare inside. You don't wanna overcook it. It's so juicy. This is gonna be a real treat. So here's the final meal. We have polenta with hunter stew sage grouse on top. I left it on the bone, I'm gonna pick those off, but it cooks so long the meat falls off. There's so many flavors, it looks delicious. And this looks more like a venison steak, it's very lean, but man, it looks flavorful. I'm really excited to taste this. I'm gonna start with the steak. That tastes as good as any venison steak. It's very lean, but really flavorful. You would never know that's bird meat. It really tastes like deer or elk backstrap and cooked medium rare, it's delicious. Now we're gonna try the polenta stew here. Right. Oh, so many flavors. It's really rich, filling, great on a cold day. We're gonna try some of that meat. There's no way you would know that sage grouse, there's no sage taste. 
It is delicious. I bet you could do this recipe with pheasant, quail, even other grouse, and it is really good. So you want to check out Hank Shaw's book, Pheasant Quail Cottontail. There's a lot of great recipes in there. We adapted it a little bit, but this is an amazing meal. I drove over a thousand miles just to get this bird, and I'm really glad I did. It tastes excellent. Thanks for watching. Mmm.